Even top prospects can struggle once they reach the major leagues. And today, we're talking five prospects that have struggled and how they can fix their game to try to stay around in the major league and avoid being a bust. This is Smarter Baseball. We deep dive into everything going on throughout Major League Baseball. Like and subscribe to support the channel. Help us grow. And now, let's go ahead and get into these five prospects who their prospect status peaked probably in 2020, 2021. Look at their career numbers so far and how we can kind of fix some things in their game to really help them improve and try to stay around here in the major leagues. I had to talk about Julio Rodriguez as a Mariners fan in the video of Young Stars and how they elevate their game. On the flip side now, I got to talk about Jared Kelenic and how he can avoid becoming a huge bust. The Seattle Mariners outfielder was the number four prospect in 2021, 23 years old, less than a year of service time, 147 games, 558 plate appearances, 21 home runs, a 168, 251, 338 slash line for a 589 OPS, 66 OPS plus, 68 WRC plus. He's got negative two B war and negative 0.6 F war. For him, he has these moments of patience. We see the walk rate is above average. He's not necessarily swinging a whole real lot. Again, great insight there. But in these, in certain moments, he gets way over aggressive. And that's where he needs to address this. The chase percentage is high. The whiff percentage is high. He does swing a little bit more than he probably should. But when you look at how he can barrel the ball up, hits it hard consistently, home run numbers are all good. He has this in him. He can do this, I will say. He needs to trust that, not try to do too much, not get over aggressive, be patient, look for the pitches he can handle and stay patient. That's the big thing for him is he can be patient. It's whether he stays patient or gets over aggressive in these moments again and tries to do too much. When he's doing too much, that's when we're seeing these poor batted balls. The exit velo then isn't above average here. That's where he gets himself into trouble. If he stays patient, gets these pitches, he can turn on a little bit more, really barrel up and hit hard. Good things will happen for him. Next up, we have Tampa Bay Rays, Luis Patino, the number 19 prospect in 2021. Also 23 years old, but over two years of service time. 36 games, 114 and two thirds innings with a 510 ERA, 529 FIP, 499 Sierra, which like I've talked about before, Sierra is basically FIP on steroids because it also takes into account batted ball data. A 220 ERA minus, 213 FIP minus. Remember for minus stats, it's the same as plus stats. 100 is average. For every one point above and below, you're 1% better. For minus stats though, you wanna be below. So being in the 200 here is really not good. For Patino, needs to get in the zone a little bit earlier and stay around the zone more consistently. He's 0.1% below on first pitch strikes. There's not anything terrible, but if he can do that more often and then stay around the zone a little bit more, his walk rate is pretty high. That's gonna help with the chases, the whiffs, all of this kind of stuff, hopefully. Just at least get the walks down. You can't just be giving up all these kind of free base runners like this. And now for this last part, shout out Ashley for pointing out I totally got it wrong on the spin rate last time and goofed this. High spin rate is great for four seamers, but for like sinkers, you want a lower spin rate so it's gonna drop more. His four seamer though does not have a super high spin rate. So if he's gonna keep using that, which he's gotten hit fairly hard on, he either needs to get that lower in the zone or use this sinker that he has even more that gets a really low launch angle. If he's gonna keep getting hit hard like this, he's getting really not a lot of ground balls. He needs to get that number up way, way more. That's gonna limit the damage that he's giving up right now with all of these hard hit fly balls when guys do make contact. So he's really gotta kinda lean into, all right, if I'm gonna get hit hard, maybe I just gotta throw this sinker and let him just pounded into the ground 
limit the damage. That's going to help him out. Next, we have San Francisco's Joey Bart, 2020's number 14 prospect, 26 years old, less than two years of service time, 132 games, 408 plate appearances, 11 homers, a 222, 294, 351 slash line. 645 OPS is a 81 OPS plus, 84 WRC plus, and he's at 1.1 B war, 0.7 F war. So not anything terrible, but there is definitely room for improvement here. For him, mainly, this chase rate and whiff rate are insanely high. And when you look at the fact that he's not walking above average, but it's not anything terrible, he doesn't swing very much on the first pitch. And despite being above average swing percentage, it's not anything crazy. So he does have patience. This tells me that it's probably a certain pitch that's just getting him to chase and whiff a, a ton. So if he can get in the cages, get some live ABs, see this pitch over and over that's giving him fits and just figure out what he's going to do with it, whether it's let it go, foul it off, or maybe he learns how to start hitting it hard. Then at least that means that pitchers can't just bash him with this pitch over and over. They have to attack him with something else, which the rest of his numbers show he can barrel the ball up, get up really high hard hit percentage homers per fly ball like he can do damage when he gets pitches that he can handle if he can figure out what to do with this certain pitch that's absolutely causing him nightmares and pitchers have to come at him with stuff more that he can handle then we could see more quality contact better batted ball kind of stuff here a couple more fly balls line drives and his numbers are going to go way up from there Next guy we're going to talk about, Kansas City's Daniel Lynch, number uh, 29 prospect in 2021, 26 years old, less than two years of service time, in 42 starts, 199 and two-thirds innings, 5.32 ERA, 4.69 FIP, 4.63 Sierra, so a noticeable difference there between the two of those, 128 ERA minus, 117 FIP minus. For him, very similar to Patino here, where... Even more so, though, he absolutely struggles with getting that first pitch strike. He needs to do that way, way more. Get way more of these 0-1 counts. Guys can't sit as much. You see a huge difference between a 1-0 and an 0-1 count for the batter. If he can do that, stay around the zone a little bit more consistently, also kind of get these walks down, that's going to help with how hard he does get hit. But he still gets hit really, really hard. And his ground ball percentage is better than Patino's, but it's still below average. Just the same, his four-seamer isn't all that great. So if he can get that at the bottom of the zone or as well use his sinker more, switch out the four-seamer for a two-seamer, something like that, where he can maybe get more ground balls off of those pitches. Who cares then if guys are hitting the ball hard like that? They're going to get way less results on hard hit ground balls than these hard hit fly balls that he's giving up. And that's going to do him a ton of help here. Last guy we'll talk about kind of surprising here because it feels like he's been around for a while, but the Angels Joe Adele 2020's number six prospect, only 24 years old, less than two years of service time. 161 games, 557 plate appearances, 15 home runs, a slash line of 215, 259, 356. That's a 616 OPS, 70 OPS plus, 68 WRC plus, and he's got negative 1.7 and 1.6 B war and F war respectively. For Joe Adele here, absolutely way too aggressive. Walk percentage is almost half of the MLB average this year, chasing way too much, whiffing a ton because of that, swinging way too often, really just has to learn how to be patient flat out in general. It's okay to take walks, look for balls that you can hit. You don't have to swing at everything. There are pitchers pitches for a reason. Some pitches, no matter what you do, you're not gonna be able to do a whole lot with it. Find those pitches early in counts that you can do damage on. He can get barrels. Homers per fly ball is above average. He's got it in him where he can do damage on pitches, but swinging at 
everything is doing him no service here. Popping up way too much, not consistently getting quality contact. Stay patient, take some walks, find your pitches. That's going to help out here. Comment your thoughts down below. What do you think about these players? How they fix their games? Are there any other players that you want to see featured in this? Comment all of that down below. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Do all of that to help support the channel. Help us grow. Follow on social medias. Go ahead, comment any other video ideas or anything else you want to see on this channel. Hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one.